Check out that YouTube and let us make some gorgeous meat pies. for ingredients you're going to need one small carrot chopped small I have a tablespoon of plain flour I have one small potato that I just diced small over here I have some onions and a little bit of chili peppers it's not spicy it just gives it a nice little flavor over here I have my scotch bonnet pepper which I'm going to add a little piece of I have my ground beef for seasonings I have some pink salt curry powder thyme and aromat as well as some cumin so let us get this started now the first thing that i did i did squeeze a bit of a lemon over my ground beef um this is just something that i like to do so you can do what you like okay so guys i've got my clean pot that i will be using for me to do my mince filling and i'm gonna start by adding just a little bit of oil in the center like so because we need to saute up some of the veggies and everything before we go in with our beef and all that good stuff, okay? Allow that to heat up for about a minute or two. And then you want to go in with your chopped onion, chili peppers and garlic. Make sure your heat is on a low to medium heat. Just want this to sweat, don't want it to burn or anything. Notice how I don't have lots of oil in there because once we add in the ground beef, it is also going to release a bit of oil and all that stuff, so we don't want this to be an oily mess. Okay, so once this is nice and translucent, this is where I'm going to go in with my beef, okay, and I just like to sort of just squeeze the beef, you know, just to break it down a bit before I decide to add it to the pot. And you want to mix it in. Want to go in with your carrots mix it in and to season it up we're gonna go in with some salt some aromat seasoning a little cumin some thyme a little curry powder, mix it in, guys it is looking so good, I'm also going to add in just a little bit of oyster sauce, oyster sauce, some of that scotch bonnet pepper, mix it up, with your chopped potatoes mix it in well now guys you can always just taste it and adjust the salt 
to your preference, okay? That is very important. Adjust the seasonings, adjust the salt to your preference, okay? Because my ingredients amount only act as a guide. So even if I would have said add a little bit of salt, maybe that is not enough salt for you or maybe that is too much salt for you. So what you want to do is adjust it according to how much suits your preference, okay? That is looking beautiful. Last but not least, I'm gonna go in with some of that plain flour and we're just gonna put it on there like so. And we're gonna mix it up and cover this to simmer for about 30 minutes, okay? And don't worry, it will spring its own liquid because the last thing you want is for this to be extra soggy, okay? So, just mix it in well. Guys, that is looking so good. I'm also just adding just a little bit of water. Gorgeous. So guys, I'm gonna be making my dough in my food processor because as you guys know, I have literally not been kneading dough by hand for the past few weeks. So first thing I'm gonna show you, I have my butter. This is some cold butter that I just diced up and I have a little bit of salt. I also have about three cups of flour and to that we're gonna add in some baking powder. Okay, so I'm just gonna go ahead and just add a teaspoon and a half of baking powder in here like so gorgeous and we literally just need to transfer everything to the food processor okay so i just added in my salt i'm also going to be using some cold water for this dough as well okay, i'm using a cup because i personally think it's so much easier to do it that way our cold butter okay you just want to mix for about 30 seconds okay guys so this is the texture you're going for do you see that nice crumbly texture See that? You can always just mix it by hand. It takes a little bit of time to mix by hand, but it's definitely worth it. Do you see this nice crumbly texture? I'm just gonna go ahead and put just a little in here like so. Okay guys. There you have it look at that i'm just gonna take it out okay guys so now that it's rolled up into a ball i'm gonna go ahead and wrap it in some clear up and we're gonna go ahead and check on our filling okay beautiful so just push this into the fridge for about 15 20 minutes and let's go ahead and check on our beef filling so guys the minced filling is nicely cooled and it's time for us to fill up our dough for these gorgeous meat pies okay so let's get started i've also preheated my oven to 200 degrees 180 to 200 degrees celsius so by the time i'm done filling this up it's time for us to bake okay Guys, and the filling is so tasty. Oh my goodness. It is just so delicious. Gorgeous. Okay, guys, so I've got a little bit of flour here. I'm just going to flour the surface slightly before taking my gorgeous dough and rolling it out. Okay, so now I want to sort of work in half. Okay, so I'm just going to take this half and just work with it for now i'll just pop this one back into the fridge okay beautiful and then we're gonna start rolling it out now you don't want it to be too thin or too thick okay 
and funny enough this actually reminds me of when we're making beef patties guys you have seen me do a beef patty video on youtube before you can actually find it by searching terrian's kitchen beef patties just using this bowl here and we're gonna cut around it this one and we're gonna do the other one here beautiful okay you just want to put this together gorgeous there you have it guys beautiful and this is just one egg with a teaspoon of water okay beautiful we're taking some of that filling don't want to put too much filling in there Okay, wash, put along the edges, like so. And fold it over like this. And then you just want to dip your fingers in here like so. So it's nice and sealed. Beautiful. Do you see this, my loves? Look at that. Gorgeous. Nicely sealed. And I'm going to do the same thing with the other one here, like so. Make sure the filling is not too much. Then you just want to press it. See this, my loves? Gorgeous. So I decided to transfer it to here on this pizza tray. So guys, it's time to bake. It is time to bake. This looks so good. I'm just going to take a fork and then we're just going to put some holes in there, okay? So you just want to go across like this and across like this. Beautiful. Beautiful. Just want to brush it on the top. It's going to give it that nice gloss, that beautiful color. And bear in mind, my oven has been preheated. So it's nice and hot and ready for this. Okay guys, so into the oven we go for about 25-30 minutes on 180 to 200 degrees. I'll come back and show you once it's all done. Beautiful. So there you have it guys. My gorgeous meat pies are all done. Oh my goodness, look at how amazing they came out. Oh my gosh, I can't wait to break into one of them to show you how it's looking guys that looks so pretty so i hope you enjoy my meat pies tutorial if you try it at all don't forget to tag me on instagram at terrian's kitchen it is a pleasure having you here of course and i will see you again in my next one thank you so much for watching bye bye
so guys you know it's very important for me to show you how it's looking inside oh my goodness so I'm gonna take one of these here oh my gosh look at how amazing and then we're just gonna look at that my loves oh my goodness so gorgeous 